hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's brua and today we are going to be trying finally after 1000 million years finally try to do poly gel nails the right way with dull forms and let me just say never again never again i don't know i just um the dull forms i have is from the original set of poly gel like i ever bought the first time like i just it was the first time i ever bought poly gel and i never wanted to use it or touch it because i just didn't know how to do it so i just looked up on youtube hey can you do poly gel nails without a dual form and it was a lot of videos pop up with really cute designs and that's how i learned to do it without dual forms and honestly dual forms are easy like you don't need to wipe like do the little wipe after like you don't have to wipe with an al alcohol wipe but i just feel like if you do poly gel nails without dual forms you have more creative freedom if that makes any sense you can do a lot more i think it's mainly i'm just a little bit sour because the dual forms i had just didn't fit they were either too big or too small and the ones that were almost my size fit at my um cuticle but then were too small for my for the sides of my nail beds so it, it was a lose-lose situation from the start but i persevered i tried really hard to make it work but my goal with this was trying to do a simple french tip nail and then it didn't turn out right so i added some bling as you can see in this video so yeah that's how this ended up being what it is so for french tip i think it is easier to start off with the white part, the, the, the nail part, the, the part that's supposed to represent what a nail should be like. Anyway, um, you just start with that part because when you do pink, you don't necessarily have to form the shape, like the rounded kind of oval shape of the finger, the pink part of the finger. You can kind of just like pull the poly gel onto the white part and you won't notice it from the front. So it's a really, it's kind of like a cheat, kind of like a little hat that nobody's gonna notice except for you guys because you see me do it but yeah so if you mess up that shape you don't actually have to like worry about it because you can't see it from the front if you can see it from the front wait till you see it from the back back anyway isn't she canceled did they did they still cancel doja i kind of feel like people are harsher on female artists compared to male artists like at first i was like trying to be you know I don't know, I tried to care about the drama and I was like, hold on. People don't give the same energy to male artists who have done way worse, let me tell you. But that's another issue about sexism in another, that's another video for another time. But yeah, I don't know why my hand is not on the screen. Baby, what is going on? Oh, I was like trying to set them down on the side and flash cure each one because they were tipping over and like, you know how poly gel is really sticky, so yeah. So, um... Yeah, I would just basically pat down the, what's it called? The white part. By the way, I used to hate this white poly gel. Like, I hated it because it was so tough to work with. But once I started taking you guys' advice and I started using, um, what is it called? Once I started using base coat as um, poly gel slip solution, it, it, was, it was like magic. It just somehow worked. I think it's because the base coat kind of thins it out a little bit. Even when I have too much, it kind of works with it because it's a thicker poly gel. So it makes it easier to work with. But basically, I do that. Then I either flash cure or I completely cure for 60 seconds. I did it both ways because I was going back and forth. And honestly, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. I was already like seeing when it wasn't going to work out as soon as I tested out the first nail on my hand. And it was just... It was depressing. No, that's exaggerating. Um, anyway, it was just not what I expected. That's all I have to say. No comment until further notice. Y'all, I have been having the worst headache for the last two weeks. I don't know what has been going on. Like, usually, like, when I was younger, I would always get dehydrated in the summer, even though I drink, like, more water than anyone in my family. Like, I'm a water connoisseur, baby. But after, I don't know, it's coming back. Like, I would always get sick and have to go to the emergency room, and they would have to give me drip, the little drips and med medication. I don't know what it is about summer. Like, I'm a summer baby and I always get sick in the summer. But why am I telling you my personal business? Anyway, um, yeah. So basically, to save these nails, I really had to sprinkle some glitter, some magic. You'll see at the end of the video. I don't even think I got a good thumbnail. I've been sucking at doing thumbnails lately. Like, outside in the sun where you can see how sparkly or whatever the nails are. Because it has been raining where i live like it's raining it's humid like there's not like i've been trying to go out and do stuff and it's just disgusting weather 
it's just making me it's upsetting me and my homegirls because if we can't go to bed on no chains then where the hell can we go if you know where that meme is from please comment down below if if you know where that's from me and you are right there you don't know you can't see me but i'm doing little we're, 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 we're on the same wavelength that's it So this is me um, basically trying to place them and clean around my cuticle. But also I had to leave some of the poly gel on my cuticle because I knew the nail does not fit perfectly on the sides of my nail beds. So like it was a lose-lose situation from the start. I don't know. Comment down below if you're an avid shopper on AliExpress and you know where to find good dual forms. Because I actually want to redo this video and make it look good. Because I just the dual forms I have are super skinny in the middle towards the end. And super like they're super wide on the um, cuticle end it's just it doesn't look good but yeah taking it off was so hard I cut myself I hope I don't show it in the video but it's not like a bleeding cut I just like like I was using I was being dumb I was using a um a board cutter y'all sometimes when I film these like voiceovers I just completely go off tangent and I can't even remember what I'm talking about but yeah I use an exacto is that what it is like an exacto night whatever and then you can see where i'm trying to file at my cuticle it was so difficult because basically the where i pressed down the poly gel to get the excess to actually cover my full nail bed you created this little like ridge kind of bump a bump in a ridge and when you're filing the file is super large so it'll end up filing the lower part instead of the higher part it was just dispro disproportionately filing the nail so not even and it took me a really long time to file these down and even then i don't i don't think it's that good love i don't i don't think it's that good i want to take it back if i could love but yeah i just want to show you guys like i actually tried so you can't tell me i didn't do it with dual forms because i did and it just looked like i mean no one asked for this it was me trying to like be i don't know what is that called like trendy i was trying to do it like the trendy way and it just didn't work for me i think if i wasn't i'm trying to find an excuse the the, the dual forms don't fit at all like that's just the thing it's not about the design the design came out perfectly it looks really pretty it's just that the nails never fit my nail in the first place so yeah so i basically filed with the um i used both of my files and then i went in with my as you can see with my nail drill to try to get that little ridge Ugh, it's so annoying even watching it back at the corner of my cuticles off it was so hard because i kept cutting my not cutting but i kept like i don't know going back on my own skin at first okay this is why you're seeing this clip at first i was gonna do the um that really um trendy instagram photo of the the cherries on french tip nails but it didn't work out because i honestly forgot how to use poly gel and instead of researching it i just decided to scrap the whole idea and go ahead and add glitters and i really love the glitters i feel like if this wasn't if the nails actually fit properly it would look even cuter but we're gonna pretend it's an okay attempt okay yeah i love 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 these glitters i didn't realize i had two similar types of glitters but they're super cute um, I just did that and I used the top coat to apply them. The only thing I can take from this is that dual forms are amazing because you don't have to wipe down or file on the surface if you don't make a mistake. It's like the easiest way to have clean, sleek, perfect nails and it makes such a cute shape. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the video. I think I added like two layers of top coat. Oh, I spilled it again. You guys don't realize how clumsy I am like behind the scenes. I spill so many things on my desk. It's tragic. My mom is like, why do you have so much glitter in your room? Girl, leave me alone. Leave That's my business. That's my business. Okay? Anyway, yeah, I spilled it everywhere, but I really love these glitters against the pink background. And that's it. Look how cute they are. 